another episode of As Seen on Pinterest. I'm Emily with the Lincoln County Public Library and today we're preparing for fall with a fall wreath. Now you can either go to the dollar store for your leaves, you can use like newspaper or scrapbook paper and create your own leaves, or you can use dried leaves for this project. And I have burlap, but you can also use like an old bandana, t-shirt, anything like that, anything fabric we can wrap. So let's get started. You are first going to cut out a cardboard circle. So I've traced a giant bowl and then a smaller bowl to create my circle and I'm going to cut that out. Once you have your circle cut out, you are going to take your burlap or fabric or whatever you choose to use and you're going to wrap about a third of your circle. And you're going to use hot glue for this. like this once you're finished. Next you're going to take your leaves and lay them out on your cardboard circle to decide what pattern you want and make sure that there's no cardboard peeking through. You also want to make sure that you rotate your leaves so they're not all facing the same direction to just add some variety. Once you have it all laid out the way you think it'll look nice, you're going to take your hot glue gun and glue them down one by one. You want to make sure that you overlap them so it adds more volume to your wreath. Here's a status update of how it's going. Notice how I've overlapped. They're not all layered going one on top of the other. You want to make sure that you get some underneath, some on top, just to give it that volume. And then I've also made sure that my leaves colors are more varied. So I've inserted some green in places, brighter yellows, just to give it more of a tone, more of the autumn scents. You want to make sure that you cover up where the burlap meets the cardboard. That way you can't really tell where the burlap ends and where the leaves begin. Alright, so your next step is you can either leave it like it is. You can add embellishments like I put a B on mine. You can cut out your own letters or there's also letters you can buy at like Walmart that you can paint up and decorate. You can add um, some stenciling. You can put um, like your last name here. Now, once you're finished gluing the leaves down and any added things you want to put on here, you need to decide what way it's gonna sit. So I think I like it this way with the burlap on the edge. And you're gonna take a little bit of string or ribbon and you're going to tie it so it's got a little knot in it. That way you can hang your wreath and then you're just going to hot glue it to the top. Alright, and 
And once you get that hot glued, you have a beautiful wreath to hang. Let me know in the comments below if you end up making one of these. I hope everyone has fun with this project, and I'll see you next time. Bye!